The Concept of Mahima by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. The concept of Mahima is a profound and multifaceted aspect of Hindu philosophy and spirituality. Derived from the Sanskrit word Mahat, meaning greatness or grandeur, Mahima embodies the idea of transcendence, divine power and the immeasurable expanse of the cosmic reality. In Hinduism, Mahima is one of the eight primary siddhis or supernatural powers that are believed to be attainable through spiritual practice and divine grace. In his working glossary, William Kwan Judge defines Mahima as a power or siddhi by which one can expand the consciousness and perception so as to embrace the largest mass of the greatest space. The concept of Mahima finds its origins in the ancient scriptures of Hinduism, particularly in the Vedas, Upanishads and the Puranas. In the Vedas, Mahima is often associated with the divine qualities of the deities and is extolled in hymns and prayers as a symbol of their greatness and magnificence. The Upanishads, on the other hand, delve deeper into the metaphysical implications of Mahima, portraying it as an attribute of the ultimate reality of Brahman, which transcends all limitations and encompasses the entire universe with its boundless expanse. Furthermore, the Puranic literature, such as the Bhagavata Purana and the Shiva Purana, elucidates the concept of Mahima through the narratives of gods and goddesses, demonstrating their extraordinary powers and manifestations. These stories not only serve as a source of inspiration and devotion for the devotees, but also convey the underlying metaphysical significance of Mahima as a reflection of the divine omnipotence and omnipresence. The philosophical underpinnings of Mahima can be found in the Advaita Vedanta and the Bhakti traditions, where it is viewed as a symbol of the divine glory and the infinite nature of the self, Atman, and the supreme being, Brahman. According to Advaita Vedanta, Mahima represents the limitless potential and expansiveness of the self, which is obscured by ignorance, avidya, and can be realized through self-enquiry and spiritual practice. In the Bhakti traditions, Mahima is celebrated through devotional hymns, kirtans, and ecstatic expressions of love and reverence for the divine, emphasizing the wondrous and awe-inspiring nature of the divine manifestations. The concept of Mahima is intricately woven into the religious texts and traditions of Hinduism, permeating various aspects of mythology, ritual practices and spiritual experiences. In the epics such as the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, the divine incarnations, avatars of Vishnu, such as Lord Rama and Lord Krishna, are depicted as embodying the Mahima in their extraordinary deeds, miraculous exploits and divine Leela play that captivates the hearts and minds of the devotees. Moreover, the Tantras and Agamas, which are the esoteric and ritualistic texts of Hinduism, expound upon the mystical dimensions of Mahima through the practices of mantra, yantra and meditation, aiming to awaken the latent powers within the individual and establish a direct communion with the divine forces. The concept of Mahima is also enshrined in the iconography and symbolism of Hindu deities, where their multiple arms, radiant auras and majestic postures convey their transcendental nature and omnipotent presence. In the context of Hindu devotional traditions, Mahima is celebrated in the form of divine kirtans, vajans and artis that extol the greatness and glory of the deities, invoking their blessings and grace. The compositions of saint poets such as Sirdas, Tulsidas and Mirabie are replete with expressions of Mahima, depicting the ecstatic experiences of union with the divine and the overwhelming sense of awe and wonder in the presence of the divine manifestations. In contemporary spiritual discourse, the concept of Mahima continues to inspire speakers and practitioners across various paths of yoga, meditation and self-realization. 
The teachings of modern spiritual luminaries such as Swami Vivekananda, Sri Aurobindo, Paramahansa Yogananda elucidate the timeless reverence of Mahima in the context of inner transformation, expansion of consciousness and the realization of the divine potential within every individual. Furthermore, the practice of meditation and mindfulness is often imbued with the essence of Mahima as practitioners seek to transcend the limitations of the egoic mind and attune themselves to the vastness of the inner being and the interconnectedness of all creation. The experience of Mahima is also articulated in the accounts of contemporary mystics and spiritual adepts who describe moments of profound revelation, divine grace and transcendental states of consciousness that elevate their awareness beyond the confines of the material world. Moreover, the concept of Mahima finds resonance in the discourse on environmental ethics and ecological consciousness, as it underscores the interconnectedness of all life forms and the sacredness of the natural world. The reverence for the earth as a manifestation of divine Mahima is reflected in the ecological movements and sustainable living practices that seek to honour and preserve the intrinsic grandeur and beauty of the planet. In summary, the concept of Mahima encapsulates the boundless greatness and divine splendour that permeates the cosmos and transcends the limitations of the human intellect. It serves as a source of inspiration, aspiration and wonder, inviting individuals to explore the depths of their inner being and awaken to the majestic reality that sustains and pervades all existence. Whether through the narratives of mythology the practices of devotion, or the contemplation of the Absolute, Mahima continues to beckon the seekers on the path of spiritual unfoldment and realisation of the ultimate truth.